Hey guys, Jessica here, the Furry Family Coach. I'm so excited for today's video because we're talking about how to make your dog's meals more fun. And I've got a few really great ideas for you. I'm gonna show you with Kim how we're doing these, you know, making, making meals more fun for our dogs. I'm very excited about this video. So thank you so much for being here. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and make sure you are subscribed. If that subscribe button is red, you need to click it and you need to turn it gray. And then once that happens, a bell will appear next to it. So you need to click the bell and select all notifications. That way YouTube can notify you every single time I post a new video here on YouTube. Also, if you are not a patron, I don't know why not. Make sure to check the first link in the description to join me over on Patreon. There are four tiers to choose from. So I know you're going to find a tier that works best for you and you're going to get all new and exclusive content over there plus early access to content I post here on YouTube. So let's get right into ideas and tips for making your dog's meals more fun and enriching. All right, so my very first tip for making your dog's meals more fun and enriching is using slow feeders. Now, I've only recently introduced slow feeders to Kim, and we both love them. She, it takes her longer to eat, which is great because normally her meals go down like that, right? And we don't always love that. We want our dogs to take their time eating. It aids in digestion, right? When we take a little bit more time to eat our food, but also, it takes, because it takes longer for her to eat her food, she's licking longer. And licking is a very calming activity for our dogs. So it's helpful in a few different ways. So slow feeders are one really great way, and I'm gonna show you here with Kim how, to, how we can use them. A really great way to make meals for your dog more fun and more enriching. All right, the second one is kind of along the same, same thing, puzzle feeders. Now, I've already packed up our puzzle feeders, but I'll show you some ideas here on the screen. I like puzzle feeders, again, because it takes longer for our dogs to eat, so we're aiding in digestion, right? And our dog gets to use their brain. They get to use their nose, they get to use their brain. It is much more enriching. So when your dog actually gets that enrichment during mealtime, I mean, what better way to make mealtime more fun for our dogs and to provide them some enrichment and let them use their nose, let them use their brain and figure it out. I love it. All right, the third tip for making mealtime more fun with your dog is using their food to train with. Now, <laughs> I do this with all of my in-home clients and I know I have talked about it on this channel before, like kind of sporadically as well, but our dogs, like are much happier when they actually work for their food. Be I mean, for so many reasons, because it's like, it builds confidence, it builds character, it helps with teaching your dog the behavior you want to see out of them, right? So it's like a win, 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 win. Why wouldn't we, we be doing this? So use their food. Don't just like set it out for them all the time. Let's take their food and actually use it to train with. So again, we're providing enrichment, we're providing behavior modification, we're building a bond and trust between you and your dog. We are um, increasing the positive behaviors, right? We are reinforcing cues that maybe your dog knows, but we need to continue with to make sure your dog has them down and, and understands um, through time that we still want those same behaviors from our dog. So we're doing so many things when we're using our food to train with our dog. I love it. I hope that you include this as part of what you do, even if it's once a week. That's great. Let's use their food to train with. All right, the fourth idea for provide, you know, making meals for your dog more fun and providing enrichment during meals is scatter feeding. So if you haven't heard of scatter feeding, it's just like it sounds. You take their food and you toss it out and they, and you scatter it out basically. So they have to use their nose and they have to scavenge and find all of their food. Great, great idea because, especially because it, it again, makes our dog use their nose, which makes them use their brain. So it does help tire them out. They get a lot of enrichment. They get a lot of, because they're having to find the food, they get a lot of reward from it. They get, they build, which is confidence building, right? When, when we have to do a task and then we are rewarded, we find, we find that food at the end, that's the reward. We are building your dog is building confidence that's amazing I love it now if you are raw you're a raw feeder like I am I have a video from a few years ago on my channel 
where I, I kind of figured out a way to do scatter feeding with raw food. I modified it quite a bit because I obviously don't want to take the raw food and just toss it out. And especially if you're doing it inside, that can like really be a mess. You don't want to do that. So I modified it and I really hope you check out that video. I might insert some clips here if, <laughs> if I can download the video from YouTube. And I hope you check that out if you're a raw feeder. Um, it's just using regular silicone um, cupcake liners. I thought it was great. So I hope you check it out. But scatter feeding is another great way to provide enrichment and make your dog's meals more fun. All right, the one, two, three, four, five. <laughs> We're on the five. We're on number five. The fifth tip to making your dog's meals more fun. And guys, I have talked about this so many times. You can, I mean, you could probably just like, you know, play roulette and, you know, pull up my channel and just scroll and click on a video and you're probably going to find a video where I've talked about this, but it is so incredibly important. If you're not already doing this, add whole fresh foods to your dog's diet. Yes. So one, it provides a variety to your dog, which is amazing. And your dog is going to love it. But also we are improving our dog's health by adding fresh whole foods. Now, of course there are some foods you don't want to feed and we certainly don't ever want to feed processed foods, but fresh whole foods. Oh my goodness. At the beginning of this year, beginning of 2021, I started the 2021 pet food challenge and we have been continuing that over on Patreon. So if you are not following me on Patreon, I definitely recommend you do so because there's a ton of great content. When you join, when you become a patron, you get all of the back content. And let me tell you, it is so worth it. Regardless of the tier you choose, you are getting excellent content. I definitely recommend you go over there and yeah, so we're adding fresh whole foods to our dog's bowl. That is amazing and a great way to improve your dog's health and add some fun to mealtime. All right guys, so those are my top five tips for making your dog's mealtime much more fun and enriching. I know there are more out there. If you have some to add to the list, make sure you comment down below and let me know. Thank you so much for being here. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and Make sure you're subscribed to this channel. If you look down there at that subscribe button, if it's red, click it, turn it gray, then click the bell, select on notifications. Thank you so much for being here with me today. I can't wait to see you in our next video and on Patreon. Bye. Got left some pieces. You have to go back to those. I didn't like push it in very deep because that's our first time. Just slowing her down a bit, which is good. Hey, thanks for watching. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you never miss another video.